Hey guys, Bill Might Survive here with a quick tutorial on how to install Twitch slash Curse mod packs. Now, a while ago, the Curse client transformed into the Twitch client. I guess Curse was bought by Twitch. So, most of you that are watching this are probably watching to install the Abysmal Island Survival mod pack that I play on my channel. So, let's go. In the description down below, you can find a link to download the Twitch client. I will also put it up on screen. I will make a tiny link of it just to make it easier if you want. That will be on screen, but all the links will be in the description as well. When you install it, it may or may not ask you to make an account, but once you get done with the installation and after it asks you to make an account, you will be at this screen. Hi there, whatever your username is. Everything you need is at your fingertips. You can create a server, you can start a call. It's kind of like Discord in the way that you can create audio servers and you can see chat and you can see I've got my Steam, I've got my Battle.net profiles. I've got 11 friends, two game IDs, I can search for popular servers to join, talk to people online, and then in my games it'll list all my games. But what you are here for is for the Minecraft mod pack. So it'll start you off on here. This left bar here is where you want to pay attention. You've got all the things I just mentioned and Minecraft. Now I have got three mod packs installed right now. You won't see anything here. This will all just be white. So what you'll want to do if you want to get the Abysmal Island Survival mod pack is go to, to browse all mod packs and search for abysmal and ours is the only mod pack with abysmal in it so you can just go the button will say install for you but I already have it installed so it just says play but I can install a new profile to it if I want as well so yeah make sure you have it typed right but also make sure you don't click browse FTB mod packs because that will only give you feed the beast mod packs now there's a ton of amazing feed the beast mod packs you can play but the only way to find Abysmal Island Survival is to click on Browse All Mod Packs. That's the only way to get it. I believe you can get it with a direct link too, but this is by far the easiest way. And if you want to make your own mod pack, you can just go to Create Custom Profile and name it whatever you want, click OK, and it'll start making it for you. Then you can just dump mods into it, and it's like super, super easy. Also, if you want to adjust any settings, it's down here. You can adjust your microphone settings, account settings, your audio video settings, whether or not you want an overlay over the game. But one more thing I want to go over is after you have the mod pack installed and it's ready to play, uh, if you go ahead and click on it, you can see all the mods here. But what you want to do is add more RAM to this mod pack. Now, you're going to want to add at least two gigabytes. So if you click here in the top right and go to profile options, you see there's a bunch of other settings, but most of them you won't ever need to use. Maybe if the profile file gets corrupted you can do repair minecraft or if you don't want it you can delete it or you can duplicate it you can do whatever you want but right now we want profile options and right here we have a slider that shows as much ram as we can use now yours might only go up to like 4000 megabytes i've got 16 gigs of ram in my computer so i can go all the way up to 12000 now what you're going to want to do is be somewhere in this recommended area if you can now most people these days have around 8 gigs of ram so you could probably give it 3000 megabytes without any sort of trouble but you really don't want it all the way to the end because then you're barely leaving any RAM for the rest of your computer so you want it somewhere below the top but I've got so much RAM I don't need it anywhere near there I can just put it around here and it'll be fine but you're gonna want at least 2,000 megabytes so like 2,028 2,000 whatever just slide it to around 2,000 and you should be good this mod pack can run pretty well on 2 gigs of RAM but it will run better if you can give it 3 so give it at least two, but give it three if you can. And everything else is just fine and normal. You hit OK, and you're ready to go. Hit play, and then it'll open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then you just hit play right there, and it'll start launching the mod pack. That's how to install Abysmal Island Survival or any curse slash Twitch mod pack. I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you all in my next modded episode. Goodbye.